Greetings, dear subscribers. Have you come across these words, pleat, margins, and slugs? Why do we use them? What is their purpose in Adobe InDesign? Today, I'm going to uncover all the aspects of pleat, margins, and slugs inside Adobe InDesign. But before that, I want to let you know that I already made tutorial on how to change margins, bleed, and slugs inside Adobe InDesign. If those settings are really, really bothering you, I've made that tutorial just to make things easier for you. Go check that out. The link is available right at the top of this video, or you can find the link below in the description. So, what is bleed? Bleed is the area where the sheets are trimmed off after the printing. Take a look at this diagram. The area under these dotted lines on this page is the final size. So anything beyond that, whether text, background, image, etc. lies in the bleed area. That will be trimmed off to fit the final book size. In most cases, the background is extended till the edge of the bleed to avoid any white slivers from appearing on the edge of the pictures. An ideal bleed size for any document is 0.25 inch. So, if your document is 5.75 inch times 8.75 inch, this 0.25 inch will be cut off after the printing to fit the original book size of 5.5 inch times 8.5 inch. So here is the list for your better understanding. So how to set up bleed slugs and margins? Go to File, Document Setup. The shortcut key is Ctrl Alt P. Let's first focus on bleed and slugs. Make sure this preview is checked. Otherwise, you won't be able to see the changes along with settings. So, in the bleed area, I'm going to assign 0.25 inch, which is the ideal bleed size. Now you will see this red line that has formed outside the edges of the page. This is bleed. Now, add slugs. So how much slug we need? Usually, 3 mm or 0.125 to inches. Now, add 0.25 inch of bleed and 0.125 to inch. That becomes 0.325 to inch. Now see, the other values have not changed automatically. All you have to do is click on this pin icon. Now, all the values are same. Now, you can see this green line that has formed after the blade line. Now, we need to add margins. 0.5 inch is the standard size. Click OK. And all this document has been transformed. It's pretty clear that trimming takes place during the printing and binding process. But what if I don't add any bleed? I mean, I don't really need that. Why should I? Well, you know what? Printers sometimes mess it up. That cause small inconsistencies on the edge of the finished books, showing white lines. I'm sure you don't want that. To avoid that, using bleed of 0.25 inches is always recommended. Note that you don't need any bleed for these kind of books that has no background or at least no objects designed on the border of the page. Next, what is slugs? Wait, wait, isn't slugs same as bleed? Well, both of them are correlated, but they are not same. 
it is the area above the bleed used to write information for the person printing the book. Here is an example. I am writing notes right over here. The contact number 01234567891. You can also write the email and even place a logo over here. Basically, client can write any kind of information to make clear instructions for the printers. So when you export this as PDF, go to Marks and Bleed and make sure that all these values are checked in, especially include the slug area. Otherwise, the exported PDF file will not display slugs and bleed. Notice that InDesign has exported the modified date, the file name and the date of creation in the bottom slug. You don't really need to add one, however, if you are curious enough, you can manually add the modified date. All you have to do is take the text tool and draw a box over the bottom corner of this document. Now go to type, text variables, insert variable and from this list you can choose any of these. Let me take this modification date. Now. You can see this information is placed right over here. You can even add the file name and the date of creation. Important thing is that whenever the document is printed, it will show the modification date. So any future modification will inform the printing person that this document needs to be double checked. If any text or object lies outside the margins. It needs to be corrected. Of course, the slug area will be printed and chopped off. However, it will stay in PDF file as an information. Keep in mind, slug is not a component that can be used as a decorative element in the document. Next, what are margins? This is same as bleed. The only difference is that it requires only the contain to not cross this pink edge. Like text and graphic elements. It is displayed as pink lines. It prevents trimming any important content in the book. So any content shouldn't cross beyond this edge. Now you see, these text objects are lying outside the margins. I need to bring it inside the margins. Let me move all these items. Now it looks perfect. All the text is in safe zone. I recommend the margins of at least 0.75 inch and require no smaller than 0.5 inch on all sides of trim area. I hope this tutorial gave you useful information and you will be ready for your next project. See you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.